Uh, don't you love being right? Isn't it awesome to be right sometimes? Obviously, we can't nail every single call, but in this case with GameStop, guys, we nailed it. It went up over 22% on the day, and earlier in the day when I made my first update earlier, I think at about, what, 1 p.m. on the East Coast, we were at about $24, $25 per share in this ascending triangle slash cup and handle, which we called out in that video, and of course, we bought the $30 calls slightly before that video, or I bought the $30 calls that expire on June 21st, and oh boy, are those printing money right now. Since that video, we saw the ascending triangle play out. GameStop shot all the way to $30 per share at close, up 22% on the day, and it got to over $32 per share in the aftermarket. Talk about a big move there, guys. So again... Earlier in the day, which this is why you have to subscribe and, of course, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any content here. Very important for you guys to do that, right? So earlier we called out this ascending triangle. I saw that all throughout the morning heading into the afternoon. We were making higher lows. We hit $22.79. We hit $24. We hit $24.40. We hit around $25. I noticed this right heading into the middle of the day. And at the same time, we were getting rejected at $25, $26 per share. And I noticed that. I noticed the ascending triangle, the cup and handle. And I was like, let me pick up some some call options here, right? The stock's beaten down. We're holding 20 bucks nicely on the four hour chart. You guys can see we were making higher lows. The trend still holding. So I figured, let me pick up some calls. That's exactly what I ended up doing. Again, full disclosure, I own the June 21st $30 call options, and those are up last I checked 50 to 60%, right? So we bought them at $4.00. And 35 cents, I bought them at 435 a contract, I believe. And now we're looking at mid sixes per contract, something like that. Last I checked, so yeah, those are good, they're doing very well right now. And of course, I didn't sell, I'm holding on because I think GameStop could potentially have more upside in the short term. And I still have a good amount of time until those expire about 10 calendar days from now of course not the most time in the world but a decent amount of time so yeah this is a very good sign for the bulls the fact that we saw that ascending triangle cup and handle whatever you want to call it play out and we closed up 22 percent after getting completely destroyed over the last couple of days i'm sure you guys remember obviously we hit 67 dollars a couple days ago we then pulled down to about 25 dollars and we've been holding that pretty steady for the last one to about three trading days now right in the low mid 20s which is a good sign we're finding consolidation we're finding support here and again, on the four hour time frame, this is, you know, consolidating and bouncing. Mind you, we closed above the 50 moving average on this time frame for the first time in a couple of days. This looks pretty bullish, right? The, the fact that we're bouncing off the trend line here, these are good signs. So on the 20 day, one hour chart, where could we be going in the short term? That's the million dollar question, right? Stas, why did you hold your calls? Well, it's because I feel like we could be breaking out here even further, right? So notice how I think this was yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday in the pre-market, we hit about $32 per share, right? So that's kind of where we're at right now, seeing a bit of resistance, nothing crazy. So if we're able to get out of 32, which I think we should be able to, the next main resistance that I'm looking at happens to be right near the highs from the end of May. From the last day of May, actually, where we hit $47 per share. That's one of the main levels that I'm looking at here, past $32 per share. And I'm not saying for sure we're going to get there, but technically speaking, man, it's in the cards. It's realistic, right? It's not for sure going to happen, but it's totally in the cards, guys. This window right here we could be playing in that window at some point later this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, right? And that's kind of what I'm banking on for the calls that I'm in, that I'm up 50, 60% on. I feel like I could make well over 100%, maybe 150% on those calls if this ends up 
playing out. So GME, another thing worth mentioning here, guys, let me actually clear the drawing set. This could arguably be an inverse head and shoulders in the making, right? So maybe we consolidate a bit here at 30 bucks, and then maybe we start to shoot up again towards that mid, low, mid, high 50, or excuse me, low, mid 40 mark. Uh, you know, that, that could happen. This could be an inverse head and shoulders in the making. And let me just set my alert now that I think about it before I forget at $32.50, right by the highs from today, roughly in the aftermarket. So if we're able, if we're able to get out of there tomorrow, guys, in the pre-market during the day, that'd be a great first step to that full breakout. To, to the next leg up, potentially, right? So I'm loving the way GME is looking right now. And again, full disclosure, I'm long via call options. And this is very risky, obviously, guys. I'm not doing this with a large portion of my portfolio, a significant amount of money, right? This is more like play money where if I make a good trade in terms of, all right, I make some profit, I could go... Uh, maybe take a little weekend trip or something, maybe a, you know, a little vacation for a couple days, whatever it may be. It, it'd be that amount of money. Not like, oh, I could go buy a yacht now or something, or uh, you know, maybe I could go buy a new car or something crazy. I'm not messing around with tens of thousands of dollars, guys. I'm literally putting uh, you know, thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, couple hundred bucks, depending on the calls that I'm buying, not only in GME, but with all these other meme stocks, if you will. You guys remember I played Barnes and Noble, which funny enough, that stock collapsed uh to nine cents today. Unbelievable, man. I bought I think the a dollar fifty, a dollar calls. I forget what it was. This was a couple weeks ago during that run up and we made a bunch of percent on that, but it was really just I put in what, 200 bucks, turn it to 600, whatever the heck it was, but it was a couple hundred percent, couple hundred bucks. And that's what I do with these guys. Nothing crazy, right? Couple hundred bucks, a thousand, 1200, 1500, whatever it may be. I make my money. I lose a little money with, with AMC, for example. I bought the $9 calls. Those went to zero. So I lost 150, 200 bucks on that. But Overall, when you're when you're having fun with these stocks, guys, you got to be willing to play with an amount of money you're willing to lose completely or a good chunk of. And of course, I wouldn't mess with these with a significant part of my portfolio like Roaring Kitty, for example, who's obviously all in. That guy's freaking nuts. I can never do that. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I do, right? So made a great trade with Barnes and Noble and a good one right now with GME. I feel like this will pan out as well. AMC again, that didn't work out for me a couple of weeks ago, but today it actually went up 11%. Pretty good. Although we do notice a head and shoulders kind of in the making here on AMC. So be careful with that. But if this successfully breaks above, I'd say six bucks again, 650. This could really start to turn around, maybe break out even further. So, yeah, that's a quick update on, I guess, AMC and Barnes & Noble, which, man, I didn't realize or I didn't think Barnes & Noble would get down this much. Jeez, 30% red day today, $0.09. Cents, unbelievable. Glad I got out when I did with this one. Uh, but, yeah, that's a breakdown on this one. And, of course, GME, which is the only one, by the way, in terms of, uh, these crazy YOLO option plays, whatever you want to call them. This is the only one that I'm involved with right now. GME, again, $30 calls, June 21st. That's what I'm rocking with, right? So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the like button and do not forget, I'm telling you, get your free stocks up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, Moo, each up to $2,000 with at least a $100 deposit. Just use that link down below, the QR code right here, or just go to stasurfest.com slash Moomoo. And of course, that is an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one.